it is far more than eighty dollars. You can be certain. It's more like two hundred and eighty dollars. When you talk about the the cost of global warming from burning that oil, the cost of uh, war in the Middle East to protect the oil at its source. You get all of those externalities wrapped up into the price of the barrel of oil. It would change the world as we know it. So the only, and only the government can do that. The cap and trade or direct carbon tax, whatever it takes. We need to get the prices right <coughs> on a barrel of oil. So what do the chairmen and CEOs of the world or who think like you have to do? Well, there's a, there is actually a group of, of industry leaders who, are, who have said this to the government and are supporting the cap and trade. Yeah. The president has a plan in his hands called the, the Presidential Climate Action Project, PCAP. I was part of it. And this 100-day action plan, we wanted it launched on the first day. Here we are a year into his administration and it hasn't really been launched yet. But every public pronouncement he's made on energy has been consistent with that 100-day action plan. There were, what was, I forget, there were, well, well over 100 specific recommendations, I think 180 recommendations, that most of which a president could implement with a signature. And so far, the, what he, the steps he has taken are consistent with that plan. Now, whether he's read the plan, I don't know, but John Podesta, who was managing the transition, was taken through it line by line. So I think he's got it. I'm about out of gas here, folks. <laughs> this, you just wanted a couple of minutes, didn't you? <laughs> Thanks, well, thank you very much, Ray. Yeah, really nice. appreciate you. Thank you. <clears throat> so again, Ray's going to spend a, a few minutes um, hopefully signing books, so please um, get your book. Um, we've actually got um, a, a, a gift bag from the sponsors. So we're going to start bringing those up. So make sure before you leave, uh, get that. Um, thank you again very much for coming. And uh, hopefully we'll thank see you at UCLA tomorrow, too.